From the reincarnation of goddess Lakshmi to the two-faced baby, today we're going to introduce you to 10 people born with extra body parts. This boy is Isbak Pakunda, a three-year-old Peruvian boy. Like all children of his age, Isbak only wants to have fun while discovering the world around him. Unfortunately, this little boy is complaining more and more of stomach pains, a pain that prevents him from leading a normal life. And as time went by, his belly kept getting bigger. His parents took him to the hospital. There, an unexpected diagnosis was made. Isbak is somehow pregnant. He suffers from a very rare disease called parasitic twin. In fact, Isbak has his twin in his stomach. Fortunately, the medical team at Las Mercedes Hospital was able to intervene in an emergency and remove the 25 centimeter long parasitic fetus with eyes, bones, and hair from Isbak's stomach. After a period of convalescence, the little boy was finally returned to a normal life, and today he can enjoy life to the fullest. It is true that for the first three years of his life, he was the unwilling host of a twin he did not know existed. But at least he, at the age of three, has already lived an incredible story. Bravo, Isbak! Here is Yi Shi Lian, a young Chinese woman from the Hunan province. For nine whole months, she only dreamed of one thing, to finally hold the baby she is carrying in her arms. However, after the delivery, the medical team refused to show her her baby boy. And although she begged her husband and all her family members, no one would tell her what was going on with the baby. It was only after much insistence that they finally brought her baby back to her. She finally meets the little Kang Kang and has him in her arms. But this magical moment that she has been waiting for for so long is a real shock. Yi Shi Lian is devastated. The reason? The particular appearance of her baby. Although the little boy is healthy, he suffers from a birth defect known as a transverse facial cleft. His face is separated into two parts, so much that one could say he is wearing a mask. But soon, Yi Shi Lian overcame the trauma and decided to do everything she could to one day save enough money to pay for reconstructive surgery in Kang Kang, while avoiding the media to preserve the privacy of her beloved baby as best she could. It must be said that a mother's love for her child is unconditional, no matter how special he is. Now, let's discover this man who was born with an extra body part, but only realized it at the age of 28. But what organ is it that he needs to live a normal life until he is 28? You can guess that it would be an internal organ, so that he would not notice it until he was 28 years old. I'll let you guess for a few seconds. You still don't get it? Well, I won't keep the suspense going any longer. Following a hospitalization for a mild kidney infection, Brigham Nordstrom, a student from Hamilton, New Zealand, gets a CT scan and reveals he has not two kidneys like the average person, but five. So he has three extra kidneys. In fact, instead of having one tube or a ureter connecting each kidney to the bladder, Brigham has two tubes on the left and three on the right, a first in the medical world. Now, you must surely feel sorry for this young man because you think that the discovery of additional organs is not necessarily good news. But let me assure you, having three extra kidneys is not dangerous in Brigham's case. The young father is in great shape. He's even quite proud of his extraordinary body. And we can only be happy for him. For once, a congenital anomaly is not synonymous with illness and suffering. Now here is a family photo of Shane and Sarah Reinfelder of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. They are holding their twins, Valerie and Kaylin. A photo that seems quite ordinary at first glance. But the question you're asking is, what extra body parts do these tiny girls have? Well, let me tell you, you're asking the wrong question. Valerie and Kaylin are completely normal. It's their mom who is exceptional. She has two wombs and carried each of her twins in the same womb, but different wombs. One chance in five million. Indeed, 3% of women in the world have this uterine anomaly, of which only 5% can become pregnant, and only 3% of them can have fetuses developing in both uteruses at the same time. But what is even more miraculous and rare is that only 1% of these women will carry both babies to term, which is exactly what Sarah Reinfelder did. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Now what you are concerned about is the health of the little twins. I know you so well. Rest assured, both little ones are perfect and doing wonderfully. However, let's hope that as they grow up, they will never forget that they have an amazing mom. If you think that the woman with two uteruses is exceptional, wait until you hear the following story. It is both surprising and unusual. I'll give you a hint. This is Evelyn, a 31-year-old Australian woman who was born with an unusual body. I know, the picture of her face doesn't reveal anything about the particularity of this young woman. You can imagine all sorts of congenital anomalies, but I'm convinced that you won't be able to find out what this woman has in addition. 
but I won't leave you without an answer any longer. In fact, Evelyn was born with a didelphic uterus, meaning she has two vaginas, each with its own cervix, uterus, and ovary on each side. You didn't expect that one. And if you feel sad for this young woman, who must be very complex by her genital malformation, let me stop you right now. Evelyn is in perfect harmony with her body, and she even made a real business out of her particularity, since her intimate videos on OnlyFans are probably very successful. A questionable career, but if she is fulfilled and happy in what she does, we can only wish her good luck and more happiness. You have probably already seen this photo on the internet, and you must have thought it was fake. Well, for all these years, you were wrong. This photo is the real thing. But you won't be satisfied with that statement. Now you probably want me to tell you more. To do so, let's take a little trip back in time. To be exact, on May 12, 1868 in Lincoln, Tennessee, USA. This is the day that Myrtle Corbin was born. The little girl is in good health, but she has four legs. The two inner legs are smaller than the other two because they belong to her parasitic twins that she absorbed in the womb. Today, her malformation is called dipagus, but at the time, the doctors did not have this explanation. For the medical world and her family, she is simply a miracle. A miracle that joins at the age of 13 the famous circus troupe Barnum. This made her very popular. In its heyday, each of her presentations brought her $450, a real fortune in the late 1800s. But at the age of 19, she retired from show business to marry a doctor. After this marriage, another aspect of her bizarre anatomy surfaces. Her twin sister is sexually trained, allowing Myrtle to possess two vaginas. This unusual woman, therefore, not only has four legs, but she also has two vaginas and was able to give birth to eight children. Now that you know the whole story of this incredible lady, you will regret not having been interested in this photo earlier. Fortunately, it's never too late to learn new things. Poonan is a young Indian woman. In 2005, just before the birth of her daughter, she dreams of Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and the embodiment of beauty. She tries to understand the meaning of this dream, but she does not succeed, at least not at first, because in October of the same year, during the festival of Lakshmi, she gave birth to her little girl, and that's when everything becomes clear. The baby has eight limbs, just like the goddess Lakshmi. In addition to her two arms and two legs, she also has another full set of arms and legs from a headless parasitic twin, which did not develop in her mother's womb. But for Poonan, as well as all the villagers, the little girl who now bears the name Lakshmi is the reincarnation of the Hindu goddess. This explains the premonitory dream of her mother. However, the happiness of having given birth to a goddess is short-lived for Poonan, who sees every day her little girl suffering martyrdom because of her malformation. And that's when Dr. Sharan Patil, a philanthropist and eminent Indian orthopedic surgeon, intervenes and operates on little Lakshmi with the help of a team of 30 surgeons who managed to remove the parasitic twin without any after effects for the little girl. The last time I heard, Poonan was very happy that her little Lakshmi was back to normal and living an ordinary life. And if Poonan did not really give life to a reincarnation of the goddess Lakshmi with her beautiful little girl, she proved that modern medicine can be as miraculous as the deities. This is now the story of the very short life of Manar Maged, the little girl with two heads. At her birth in Egypt, Manar suffered from craniopagus parasiticus, one of the rarest forms of birth defects. Her second head, which her parents named Islam, could smile and blink, but could not survive independently. At the age of 10 months, Manar underwent a 13-hour operation to separate her from her parasitic twin's head. This surgical feat was a success, but although Menard's condition improved after the operation, she continued to suffer from regular infections until her death at the age of two. Let's hope this little angel is better where she is today. After Egypt, let's go back to India to discover another unusual person. What extra body part will we talk about now? That's the question you're asking. Well, no need to guess this time. Here is the answer in pictures. Little Lolly was born with a craniofacial duplication, so she has an extra pair of eyes, nose, and lips, and the most surprising thing is that the little one eats with both mouths and blinks with all four eyes. An anomaly that earned Lolly the status of goddess in her village. This led her parents to refuse any special care for the little one who died at two months of a heart attack. This decision of the parents revolts and saddens you, especially knowing the progress of modern medicine. But that's the way it is, unfortunately. We can't change people's mentalities. Finally, here is this Chinese woman who has an extra finger and toe on each of her hands and feet. Although she has always hoped that the baby she carries would not inherit her polydactyly, when she gives birth, it is a big surprise. Her wish was not granted, and what she feared most happened. Her son, Hong Hong, 
was born with 16 fingers and 15 toes. With 31 fingers and toes, he suffers from an extreme form of polydactyly, but this young mother does not despair. On the contrary, her son gives her the strength to make the rounds of local charities to help pay for their reconstructive surgery in Hong Kong. Let's hope that she has succeeded in realizing her dream of giving her little boy a normal life. It was 10 people born with extra body parts. Tell us in the comments which of these people surprised you the most. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss out on any of our upcoming content.